What is going down, AMD family? Today we're going to answer the question, does it matter to update your driver with an AMD graphics card with the FSR? Quite frankly, it seems like they've just released it out into the wild and it's completely up to the game developers in order to influence this and update this in order to make it profilely fit within the AMD software and the software that's been given to us by the game developers. But is it favored with AMD graphics cards and updating into a brand new OS from the Adrenaline software. My name is Macker, the MacGyver 7 channel. For brand new people, hit that subscription button and company with the notification bell to get brand new updates, which hint, hint for the community members that are returning, 20.6.2 patch notes and benchmarks are coming up very shortly after this. So get excited, slam a like, and let's go ahead and go into, does it matter to update with FSR? Now, I recorded this once and I just was not really happy with what was going down and we're going to go ahead and start again and we're going to go ahead and go with the off mode and we're going to turn off VSync so that way it doesn't screw up with the test. We're going to make sure that the cache is off and on the very bottom, the LPM is off from the fidelity. It says AMD by itself. HDR will be on all that fun stuff and we're gonna be just going with native 4K and seeing what ends up happening. So let's go ahead and save, get to the benchmark and see what happens. I'm very curious to see where the size is up um, straight out the gate. It is beating it a tiny bit. 38.8 uh, was where the FPS ended in the last range uh, without the actual point of having their g-sync styled mode enabled so let's go ahead and see what happens ton of frame tears though i'm definitely noticing when it was locked down on that cap it was doing a great job of grooming some stability but let's go ahead and size up the test and see what ends up happening towards the very tail end now personally myself of doing a second run of this I do see there is a difference with actually having some of the AMD benefits of having their styled um, synchronization with the FPS. Very interesting. Wow. So with this test, we have basically noticed that we lost a little bit with FPS without having some enabled functions. And the only difference I did was turn off the vertical sync. We lost about 0.4 of FPS, but I did notice that there wasn't a lot of aliasing weird pixel artifacting in the background. It seemed like the graphics card was just running the way it was supposed to. So with this, let's go ahead and boot on our ultra quality, boot on our, wait, no, no, I don't want my virtual sync. Now, what you'll notice is that it has a few different sets for as far as the fidelity or FSR, ultra quality, off performance, balance, and quality. So, with this one, we're going to be doing ultra quality and we'll be sizing that up against performance and it being off. That way, we can get three consistent portions. You can obviously see that there's going to be contrast in between those if you definitely want to utilize that. You can, and we can always do a follow-up video later on down the road once it matures to see all the settings match up. But for right now, I'm just curious, update to update, does it matter? So let's go ahead and keep it quick, simple, and techie fast. So last time right out the gate, we got about 40. Prior to that was about 50, and now we're getting about 54 going up. So if it drops below and 40 and gets to right around the 49, give or take right around that range, then we'll know that there is a difference. But for right now, it definitely seems like it's trying to uncap some of that stuff, but 49 is seeming like it's rounding up. That vertical sync is seeming to be quite friendly with a lot of these, well, turns. And it looks smooth though. The ultra quality looks way better than what it was before. I love AMD technology. It ages so well. And it shares to other platforms now that it's just software based. It's cool. So let's see how this ends up at the very end and we will size this test up to see how the FPS increase me. So I definitely noticed that A, it definitely looks a little bit smoother. We definitely get a lot more frames, but there is that aliasing thing, that, that pixel artifacting thing that's going on there that I'm assuming that they're gonna have to fix with an update. From Gearbox, at least. 
Now that we have it inside of our lovely performance mode, we're gonna go ahead and kick it into our bench mode. And we'll see what ends up happening. Now, interesting enough, I say gearbox in an update, but who knows? Maybe at the end of this test, we'll be like, holy crap, everything got cleaned up with a brand new update from AMD. It does pay off to have, oh, holy crap, that's 76 frames. Wow. Okay, so the vertical sync definitely holds back a lot when you go to the performance situation. Before, I was getting barely 60 frames and it was trying to like, wow, 4K, 70 frames. I mean, it looks okay. You can definitely see some tearing going on right there, that magical light of chest loot right there. So, but damn, just damn. Which means that probably roughly right around the portion of where you'd be pulling in for the balance, you'd probably be getting around around 60 at a very nice steady, consistent frame rate expansion. Because one thing I've noticed that it is trying to render in stuff less versus where it's dumbing down to upscale where you can see where it's like kind of expanding out there the far the vase you can see where it's coming across with some of the actual shadowing and the reflections but let's go ahead and end this test and see what it fps stats read as i mean that's pretty classy it like literally doubled that's pretty good 81.1 versus the originals which you know was roughly you know in the 30s and now we got up to like you know a nice little upper 50s and just an interesting situation how cool so now the fun begins we're gonna go ahead and install our brand new software and i've already did half the patchwork and benchmarks that we have to look forward to in the brand new 20.6.2 update that will be coming shortly after this video also i wanted to do a tailored portion of how to overclock a lot of people are wondering what the difference is for as far as gaming and if you are having to turn a coin or two with your gpu and if you know what i mean by that then you know you're uh, <laughs> sliding into the nice profitable point of the future but let's go ahead and install and see where this ends up one thing i wanted to point out and eventually i will be doing a follow-up video of how to install amd software very properly but for most people that have gotten this far this is one of the more portions that are a little bit more important. Uh, make sure that if you are selecting, there are a difference between driver, minimal, and full. If you're trying to get the full experience with streaming and everything else, you want to install that. If not, you don't need the bloatware. You just go with the driver. And then there's the minimum, which is just, you know, kind of less UI crap and stuff like that. But what you want to do is sometimes factory reset, optional, all that fun stuff. And make sure at the very end that you're not allowing them to spam for data. And there's a setting that they have inside of there that they already turned on. That's basically this help health thing that just continues to scan in the background. It's not a good look. I turn it off all the time. This is normal by the way. This is just AMD installs. But let's go ahead and get to the actual benchmarks install was successful and right now what we're going to be doing is running performance back to back so we can see if we can beat the 81.1 and yes we'll be running through the other tests but this is really going to be the bread and butter we have everything lined up apples to apples everything on let's see how this pans out i'm super excited to see exactly what we are going to end up with Benchmark mode enabled. Let's go ahead and hit the confirm and see what our ending results are going to be in. So, so far, I think the fidelity update is super amazing. For most people that have GPUs and they're waiting for the shortage to go down, this is the meal ticket for you to get some FPS. Now, personally, myself, update to update, I'm not really noticing much except for maybe like a few frames less, rather. But let's see where it ends up. You never know. The end result of this could be something pretty astounding. Um, I do notice that it seems like the frame tear is not as bad, but that could just be the driver itself implementing a better performance run. So this is a great apples to apples, like I mentioned before, to see what you're getting with with the driver, but mainly also to see if we're getting like a huge update kind of like lurch which i don't think is really going to happen this seems to be all software development on the game developer side and amd just happened to give them a free source software yes the driver may perform more optimal and give us more fps that way but that will also show conclusive inside of a benchmark when lining up an update from 20 
dot 6.1 to 20.6.2 which will be its own update after this this one i just wanted to get the fidelity out of the way to see what it ends up sizing up with but let's see how this ends up well driver to driver we actually saw a decreasement so like i mentioned in the very beginning we still do have some artifacting going on so so far i think they have some work ahead of them along with the game developers to iron this out but it's looking pretty good let's go ahead and size up the other three just to see where they come in they're, they're probably going to fall a little bit shorter now for the documentation of it just so people can see what it looks like in each of those oh my well, i'm assuming that that was just the refresh point of it popping in and out of the switcher that i have for the 4k and the many displays i have that was not amd that wasn't that that does happen from time to time so besides that and that documentation of that just the computer messing up with saying like signal over here signal over there wait where'd our signal go oh it's right there but yeah i'm starting to notice that it, it definitely looks like the old driver was more favorable for the fidelity so if you guys and gals are noticing a huge step back with an older card you know it might actually be in your benefit to install the older driver of 20.6.1 and it's mainly on uh, my hypothesis is by performance and again this will be conclusively proven as we do with the synthetic benchmarks on 3d mark later on to see what it does do in 4k and direct x11 and 4k and direct x12 because looking at this in 4k we're probably going to see a reduction when looking at the tests and maybe maybe some increases in 1080p it just depends there are some titled favored points but let's go ahead and pull out of this and see where we end up so i am seeing a little bit of the reductionable points but let's go ahead and try it one more time without anything just it's bare bones just fps to fps all right, so we have it enabled and we'll be getting the final analysis of does it matter? And this definitely does not seem like it's something groundbreaking that we are going to be coupled with, you know, if you need an AMD GPU, this basically proves that it's on the game development side and that this happens to be a driver that is probably going to be performing a little less intensive on the 4K department and probably aiming for some stability fixes with inside of there. So I'm very excited to do the patch notes and benchmarks to line up in the following segment. So let's go ahead and finish this. So far, I think we are gonna finish conclusive to see that we've seen a reduction in just the driver and not the fidelity between the driver aiding that. Close, but no cigar. So end of the day, everyone. I think what you should do is update your drivers accordingly, DDU them, and if you notice a reduction in performance, always go back to the previous driver that you had before. With the four, as far as the coupling matter of does it matter, will you get huge increasements? And no. <laughs> You can install a NVIDIA GPU without the AMD software, and it works just as good. And that's basically what I'm going to do as a follow-up segment with my 2080 Ti after we do the benchmarks and the patch notes. And I size up an overclocking episode for most people that want to see exactly how to get a little bit more FPS out of their GPUs with AMD. So, renew the network. I would definitely recommend like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully this has cleared up a lot of the confusion that is centered around the fidelity update and it doesn't matter if you have amd software installed no it doesn't really this is probably showing you that well it only matters if you're trying to get more performance and then you're trying to size up driver to driver with a synthetic to see if there's actually increasements or decreasements which i'm already calling it i'm throwing my feather in the cap on this one the next 20.6.2 ain't gonna be that pretty in 4k but let's see stay tuned see you in the future everyone